Now it's time to get a first look and first drive of a brand new EV. Yes, it's the fifth gear recharged team test. Today we tested the Mercedes-Benz C300e. This is a plug-in hybrid, so shorter trips can be completed on electric power alone. We have the AMG line specification, which is the cheapest model in the range. It costs £46,310. It is a hybrid car and it can do between 65 and 70 miles on electric power alone. Which means this car is one of the best plug-in hybrids around when it comes to EV only range. Which I think is pretty good and could be the sweet spot that most people need without even touching the two litre petrol engine. How long to charge? Between 30 minutes and three hours, depending on what your charger is, which is pretty good. Oh, pretty impressive. I'm just going to say this off the bat. I'm quite keen on this stylistically. Yeah, I mean, these uh -huh. wheels, no, I don't like they're that. tickling my fancy. No, that's too, that's too much there, that's too I big. Like, I like that because it's a little bit different. Do it's you like that? No. no, me neither. No, you don't, I don't like no, it? I like no, clean I spokes. Like I like it even more now. <laughs> <laughs> Those wheels, they're going to be a definite point of controversy, but I like them. Tell me, well, you, you don't like these though, do, do you? I don't like those rear lights. Just look a bit strange to me, the way they kind of... I will agree with you on that. So there's a petrol engine, an electric motor and a battery, and combined, that gives you 333 horsepower. I think that's AMG, like a coupe type look. I think that this is like, it's a bit SLS y, isn't it? I think the front of the car is really aggressive and looks mean actually, so I think the styling's good there. Right, well, I'm going in. <laughs> I'm in the back, You're aren't in I? the back, son. Once you get in, it feels like a Merc. It's quality, it's comfortable. I like this shape that they've got here because they've added a bit of texture, some different materials. It's a really good looking cockpit area. Yeah. This double decker system is quite unusual. So, what's the Merc like when it's underway? 0 to 62, anyone? I know this. Yep. 6.1 seconds. 6.1 seconds. Oh, yeah. That's not bad. 155 mile an hour top whack. How are we finding the right? It's sporty enough to tick my box. It's very acceptable in the rear. Yeah. And it's not too noisy in the rear either. Road noise. Sorry. Who said that? Huh? Pardon? Hey, what, what? You forget he's there. It's quite pleasant. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good bit of kit. Which, to be fair, it needs to be, because that's the best part of 50 grand. To put that in context, £50,000 would buy Tesla's best-selling Model 3 with 270 miles of pure EV range. I have got one thing left. OK. And we need to head to a track for this. Merck claims the C300e can drive 60 to 70 miles on EV only. This figure is based on an official test called the Worldwide Harmonised Light Vehicle Test Procedure, or WLTP for short. However, that's conducted in lab conditions on a rolling road. So we've come up with our own test that we think is far closer to real-world driving. The question is, with EV mode selected, will the car match the official range? Jimmy was our nominated real-world driver. Now, in here yeah. are some real-world tests, which I'm going to now... No, 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 no. And what about the test announcer? Yes, and I'm stopwatch queen. Let's get a show on the road. Three, two, one, here we go. Accelerate to 30 and hold for 60 seconds. Oh, I'm going too fast. I'm way too fast. Steady. I'm off, I'm off. I'm braking. We're going through the chicane and... 30, 30. You've dropped. I know, I've dropped. The pressure's on. 5, 4, What are we doing? Stop in. Yes, please. 2, 1, and... Emergency stop! <laughs> Jason and I were thoroughly, thoroughly entertained. Accelerate to 60 miles an hour as fast as possible. Now? Now! now. Go! Then what happens? I don't know! Oh, no! 45, 50... Avoid hedgehog! What the? There we are! Okay, avoided the hedgehog. Pull over to that emergency vehicle pass. Oh. Nina, 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 Nina. There it goes. Accelerate to 50 miles an hour and hold for 60 seconds. Shut up. That's what it says. Now you can do this at 50. I know you can. Come on, come on, come on. Are you f***ing me? Come on, come on, come on. Good. Yes, Good. nicely played. Five, four, three, two, one. Now what? Stop and perform a three-point turn. Oh. 
Right, reverse. My mouth dried up. Has it? Yeah. <laughs> My mouth dried up. Accelerate to 40 miles per hour yeah. and weave from side to side. Right, to 40. Yeah, and it's a gentle weave. Gentle weave. weave. OK, nice. got to do that for... For 60, I'm on it. I might be sick. Yeah. Three, two, one... <laughs> there he is, the little blighter. <laughs> Hang on. I'm going to be honest, from my point of view, I think that went quite well. In the real world, we've done almost four miles. However, the car's computer was telling us that we'd used nine miles of range. No way. Really? The real world test was to see how far the Mercedes would actually go on battery only. It states around 65 to 70 miles. With me behind the wheel, we halved that. That's interesting, though, isn't it? I wonder how much that ferret manoeuvre cost I mean, cost that was us. a couple of miles there. I reckon. <laughs> yeah. In my, you know, 30 years on the road, in real-world situations, I've never come across a ferret. So maybe that test was a little bit unfair. OK, so our test wasn't quite as scientific as the official WLTP and nowhere near as long, but it was probably a reasonable reflection of how people actually drive. So what would we score the Mercedes C300e? I really want to give it a high score because I love the fact that it can do between 65 and 70 miles on electric power alone. But in our real world test, it didn't achieve that. So I'm going to have to downgrade it a little bit. I'm going to give it a 7.5. <laughs> but from the boys' perspective, it seems the Merc's other attributes outweigh the range issue. Overall, I thought this Mercedes was a top-notch bit of engineering with a great set of figures surrounding it, so I'm giving it a wafting 9 out of 10. It's a big thumbs up for me. I like it, apart from the rear. And on that basis, I'm going to give it a great score. I'm going to give it an eight. Which gives the Mercedes C300e an impressive team test score of 24.5 out of 30.